Every Sunday I go to Tesco, past Peter the security guard, past miraculous fruit, giant strawberries and midwinter mangoes, past enough discounted sandwiches to feed 500. I'm on a mission. Tea bags, mandarins, bread. Aisle two, shelf two, check us today, our daily expiry. I pass over the older loaves, even though the golden law is baked into me. Dough unto others. Parishioners in the biscuit aisle bend over to collect their morning sin. Patterned hoodies clutch one too many items and mouth confessions of regret. Pride stops a trip back for a basket. The final aisle is my favourite. Bottles watch our shuffling procession towards payment. Stretch their necks to see what we're buying that morning. They have the names of French martyrs. Saint Sauvignon Blanc, Saint Pinot Gris. They are messages from the kingdoms of Jacob's Creek Villa Maria and Tesco's finest. My homesick eyes pore over their labels and locations. I've been there, I tell no one. That's where I'm from, no one cares. Saint Sauvignon of Hawke's Bay knows me. We share a respectful nod before awkwardly looking away. It's complicated. Let's just say she'd lose her halo if it wasn't screwed on. Opposite, behind the counter, spirits ascend towards the ceiling awaiting our eventual arrival. I cross the final threshold when beckoned by the man with the prophet's name. He takes my payment and judges it worthy with eyes preaching late nights and early starts. I thank him, then nod to Peter on my way out. We're equals now. Plus I didn't take a receipt, so don't want to be stopped. Through the automatic doors, I step over a man with red and white eyes. Avoiding his glassy stare, I pick up my bags and carry them off down the road, leaving behind one set of reusable 5p footprints and a man lying hungry on the ground. <laughs>